What's up, y'all? It's Kwame Alexander, a.k.a. The Rooster, a.k.a. Kwame, a.k.a. You can Kwame on my cell phone. We are back for another episode of Bookish coming at you, y'all. Throwback Kwame. I've been looking at a lot of my poetry from back in the day. Oh, yeah? It was horrible. No, <laughs> I liked some of it. You did? Yeah, it was pretty good. Check this out. All right. The core of the earth and the sway of the wind is most definitely something. <laughs> I know, it's just horrible. It's most definitely Who something. Who stuff like that? <laughs> I'm going to read something from Solo. Solo, do it, man. Hey, look, in Solo, I wrote these track poems. I was in a store in Philly. Randy and I were on tour in Philadelphia. Philadelphia, baby. And I saw this huge book. Bob oh, Dylan's man. songs and the stories behind them. It was great. And I thought, in Solo, we should do something similar. Yeah. We should have, like, the stories behind the songs. Right, right, right. So I'm going to... Why is this book backwards? <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. Um, I'm going to read a poem that tells you the story of the song, mm. and then you're gonna play the song. Oh, that's great. You think you got it? Yeah, I'm sure I have it. First one, track six, Welcome to the Jungle, Rockers, Guns N' Roses, uh -huh. album, Appetite for Destruction, label, Geffen Records, recording date, January to April, 1987, studios in LA, Rumble Studios, Take One Studios, The Record Planet, Can-Am Studios. They say Axl Rose wrote the lyrics while visiting a friend and thinking back to when he first arrived on the LA scene, before his fame, before the temptation, before the pain of a dog-eat-dog -dog world. I've lost too much here, bled too much there, among the beasts, and I'm not gonna die in this jungle. You can't bring me to my knees. I'm leaving all you savages behind. Welcome to the jungle, we got fun again. Got everything you want, honey, we know the names. We are the people who can find anything you need. If you got the money, honey, we got the disease in, in the, the jungle. jungle. Welcome to the jungle, watch it bring you to your knees. Oh, shit! Yeah, you like that, huh? <laughs> yeah, okay. Good luck with this one. <laughs> Track five. Rocker, Bobby Hebb. Album, Sonny. Label, Phillips. Recording date, 1966. Studio, Bell Sound Studios, New York City. Where we are right now, y'all. This is the song my father Rutherford played between tears at my mother's funeral. It's the only non-rock song I've ever heard him sing. It's been covered hundreds of times by everyone from Sure to Leonard Nimoy to Brian Adams to James Brown to that kid. Marvin Gaye Washington on Showtime's Ray Donovan. When Rutherford sings Sonny, it's like an eruption of joy and pain. To hear him croon is to know his hurt is volcanic, is to know he is capable of loving, even if he refuses to ever show it. Sonny, yesterday my life was filled with pain. Sunny, you smiled at me in really, really easy pain. Now the dark days are gone and the bright days are here. My sunny one shines so sincere. Sunny one so true. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Oh! Sunny, oh, that song makes you feel something, doesn't it? We really appreciate all the love. I love to share like fan mail, cause I have fan mail. Yeah, you do. Huh? Do you get fan mail? Uh, I think. Randy doesn't get I fan get mail. It. I get fan mail. Dear Kwame Alexander, I'm reading the fan mail. Yeah, my fan. Okay. Dear Kwame Alexander, hello, mm -hmm. my. Why do you keep interrupting? And Randy, it's it says it. Go ahead, go ahead, man. Just read. It. Dear Kwame Alexander and Randy Preston. Hello, my name is Seth and I am 12 years old, but my birthday is August 23rd. And it's funny because my mom's birthday is August 20th and my grandpa's birthday is August 22nd. And I saw that your birthday was August 21st. <laughs> that is really cool, man. 
It doesn't stop there. Oh my goodness, are you serious? My tutor and I read the crossover and I love the book. Now we're reading Booked, but I think crossover is better. Huh. The sad part is when the, um, mm, spoiler, spoiler. spoiler alert. My mom and I, we think you're 43 years old by doing the math on your website. <laughs> <laughs> we hope to meet you soon this fall. I guess I'm gonna see Sweet. you this fall. We'll Seth, see. Randy and I are gonna see you this fall. I'll see you this fall, Seth. Dear Kwame Alexander, no Randy. Mm. When I saw your book booked, I wrote a book called Booked. B O O K E D. B O O K E D. B O O K E D. When I saw your book booked in the bookstore, I saw that the cover had a picture of a soccer ball on it. So I thought, let me check the book out since I love soccer. So I picked it up and I started reading it. And the next thing I knew, I finished the book. It was pretty wow. short compared to other books since it was poetry. Normally, poetry is not my favorite thing, but in this case, I loved it. Wow. Because it totally made sense with the story. Before I read your story, I never knew that poetry could be so powerful and change the whole meaning of the story. This book changed my view of the world. Whoa. Whoa. Because it made me realize how hard it is, how hard it must be for parents to get a divorce and how you can still find courage through hard times. Mm. I hope that just like Nick, I can face my fears. And just like Nick did against the twins in the end of the book, showing them that he was not afraid of them anymore. Sincerely, Victor. P.S. Kwame, you are the best author in the world, and I can't wait there was to no, read every book you write. There's no P.S. on that. But it should be a P.S. It was a good idea. Yo, I really appreciate that. Victor, Victor Seth, we got see. books coming to your classroom. I like to have, like, conversations with my friends. Yeah. We call it phone a friend. Friend. We call like random people, people who write children's books. And since I know everybody, we can pretty much pick anybody and call them. You know every, he knows her. You know everybody. You want to call Judith Vorst? Hmm. She yeah. writes children's books. Do you know like her most famous book? Uh -huh. Yes, I do. You have four seconds. Alexander's terrible, horrible, no good, very bad thing. Oh, it's not. It's not. You're it's right. Not. Let's call her. I think he's bluffing. We're gonna see. Hello? Yes, may I speak to Judith? This is she. I uh, know, I don't wanna speak to she, I'd like to speak to Judith. <laughs> okay, well then this is Judith. Oh, Hi, Ju <laughs> <laughs> Judith, this is Kwame Alexander. And what are you doing on the other end of my telephone? Judith, I'm hosting a TV show called Bookish about books and other ish okay and i thought why not call one of my favorite people one of the best writers one of the most like top selling children's book authors on earth wow i'll keep talking i love what you're saying <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you dear Kwame. the uh, admiration is more than mutual i but think i once told you that um i have been raised um, in the eyes of my grandchildren just by dropping your name, which I do from time to time, just to keep them impressed. Anyway, lovely to hear from you. I got a few questions for you before I let you go, and I just thank you so much for picking up the phone. Um, the last time we saw each other, we were on stage holding a conversation, and you were the most funniest person ever. Have you always been this funny? Um, I am funny, but I have to tell you, everything that I laugh about, first I cry and whine about and usually try to blame my husband for it. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. So look, Alexander's terrible, horrible, no, no good, good, very, very bad, bad day. Bad. I got one question like my nine-year-old wants to know, and this is not from me, Judith, this is from her. No, I get it. <laughs> have you sold... Um, a million, 10 million, 100 million copies? <laughs> well, wow. Um, I, think, I, I think I have sold 4 million copies. Wow. 4 million copies. Um, Alexander, by the way, has just turned 50. The, the kids, the actual Alexander, not the book. That's wow. so awesome. That's so awesome. I know, I'm, I'm fainting from it myself. What are you writing now? Are you working on anything? Yes, I'm always working on something, aren't you? Always, you're right. Good point. 
I have this really naughty little girl, Lulu. I've written three books about her, and I've just finished a fourth one, which will be coming out sometime in 2018. She is an absolutely impossible, spoiled brat, major pain in the butt, but somehow, some weird way, likable. I still don't understand why. And this is called, uh, Lulu is getting who wants her, who needs her, a sister. Aww, you have like the best titles Ooh, in the world. Sorry, man. <laughs> Look, um, I want to take you out on this questionnaire. Tell me your favorite word, Judith. My favorite word, um, uh, oh God, uh, chocolate. 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 Ooh. What makes you smile? My grandchildren, I mushily have to admit. What makes you sad? The fact that the people in my generation have not made the world a better place for the people of your generation and the generations to come. Wow. You're on a desert island. What music would you like to have with you? Uh, you're talking to a woman who is madly, madly in love with Leonard Cohen. I loved him before anybody else <laughs> discovered him. I want you to know he's mine. One author or two that you could have dinner with. Well, I think one of them would have to be you, my dear Kwame. Aww. And um, I'd like to introduce you. She she died a few years ago, but my beloved E.L. Konigsberg would be another one. Wow, pretty powerful. I really so much appreciate you, Judith, your inspiration. And just thank you for taking the time, my friend. Thank you for calling me. I loved it. All right. Take care, all right? Bye-bye, yeah. Bye. Because that's how we roll. We don't play. You got to tune in every Wednesday to see who we're going to call or who's going to drop by. It's about books, but it's also about the people who make books. It's about trying to inspire young people to always remember these four things. One, two, three. Be a star in your mind. Are you repeating? Day and night. Let it shine. You got to sing with us. Be a star in your mind. Day and night, My let favorite it part shine. Is coming right now. This is it. Dribble, fake, shoot, miss. Dribble, fake, shoot, miss. Dribble, fake, shoot, miss. Dribble, fake, shoot, swish. Yeah. Thank you, Angel and Danielle. We out, y'all. Peace. Peace.